Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, first, I'd like to welcome everyone to our first ever Colonial Family EdTech Series. Uh, the purpose of our EdTech Series um, will be around providing families with support and guidance around educational technology in the Colonial School District. Uh, these sessions will be recorded um, and we'll share these recordings using our district's uh, YouTube channel. So definitely no worries if you miss anything in today's session uh, or in the upcoming weekly sessions that we have. If you have a previous obligation, no worries there. Um, you'll also be able to access these trainings as well um, on our district YouTube channel. So before we get going, um, I'd like to introduce myself. Uh, first off, uh, welcome again. My name is uh, Tom Gavin. I am the Supervisor of Educational Technology and Libraries in the Colonial School District. Uh, also, I'm a parent of an eight-year-old in Colonial um, who attends Newcastle Elementary. Um, so I want to give a shout out to Miss Allen uh, and all of our teachers in Colonial who are doing a great job uh, during this remote learning. So kudos to all the work that they're doing. Um, and really impacting student learning in the district. Also, um, I definitely want to add that I'm having the same exact challenges I think that some of you are probably having um, during remote learning with your own students. Um, so what I'm looking forward to as we have these weekly um, uh, series um, is working with you and, and really figuring out together and collaboratively how can we support you and your student during remote learning. I know it's definitely been a challenging time uh, for parents um, in, in the district. All right, so before we get going, um, I'd like to share just a quick overview of today's agenda. So for today's call, um, it's really just a kickoff call um, to introduce our families to our uh, weekly EdTech series, and also to introduce you to the different levels of family support that we've recently developed in Colonial um, to help you. Um, we're definitely not going to go over 30 minutes each of these calls. I really want to keep them around 15 minutes. I find sometimes 10 to 15 minutes is sort of the sweet, sweet spot for people's attention span um, when it comes to these sort of things. Um, but for today, what we're going to be covering real, real briefly is first we're going to cover an overview of our parent university, so our family ed tech series. Uh, the second thing we're going to be uh, covering is an overview around Colonial Devices, which, is, uh, which covers Chromebooks. Uh, the third thing we're gonna cover is an overview of EdTech support in Colonial. And we've developed uh, five different methods of support that we're gonna go over today uh, and that we hope you find helpful um, as you're working with your students. And, and last, we just wanna give you an opportunity. We're gonna have a, a Google form. Um, if you wanna share any questions, thoughts, ideas for future PD, we definitely wanna record that and capture it. So um, in the upcoming weeks, as we're developing uh, these series, we can really target it around your needs, which is really what we wanna do. Um, oops. All right, uh, first, um, so we wanna share an overview of our parent university. Um, oops. Have you guys been able to hear me? Thumbs up. You haven't been able to hear me. Okay, because I had a little pop up. All right, cool. Thank God. <laughs> Scared me. I had a pop up that said you were muted, but I did unmute myself. Okay. All right. So, uh, first, we want to share an overview of our parent university. So, our family ed tech series. So, uh, the creation of the series is new for us. And we definitely want to, we, we definitely want to start with that. Um, and we're going to be learning a lot along with you as we do this series. Um, we're excited to begin to offer this level of family support. And again, we're definitely seeking your input and feedback. Um, we'll definitely be making mistakes like you just saw there. I, I thought I unmuted myself, thankfully I did, but I did see a pop-up that said I was muted, so thankfully I wasn't. Um, and that's fine, right? Um, I, I think we're learning a lot of things and I think you know making mistakes is an important part of learning. Um, so again, we're gonna, make, we're gonna make mistakes and that's fine. But really the, the purpose of our EdTech series is really simply to begin providing you with support and guidance around EdTech and Colonial. Uh, we wanna engage our families around their needs um, so we're better informed and we're able to better support our community. Um, so what we're gonna do each week 
Um, uh, this series will run each Wednesday uh, from 4.30 to 5. Again, some weeks our sessions might be 15 or 20 minutes. Um, we can play with that. Um, but we'll start each week at 4.30 and we'll be covering different ed tech topics throughout the year. Um, families should sign up for Parent University using our district website. And I just want to show you that. Um, so you can see, can I get a thumbs up if you can see my screen and you see the Colonial Ed, or you see the Colonial website? Okay, thanks Chanel. Um, you guys have already signed up, so you don't have to sign up for this each week. Once you sign up, what we'll do is each week we'll send a reminder with the Zoom invite um, and then you'll be able to enter in. But uh, for those that maybe are watching this uh, as part of the YouTube channel, what you'll wanna do is you'll wanna go to the colonialschooldistrict.org website um, you'll want to navigate to the parents and students page. And then you're going to notice in the far upper left, there's a parent university link. If you select that link, uh, what you're going to notice on this page is we've created a form that we're going to ask that you fill out uh, with your email information. And once you submit it, uh, we'll send you the Zoom information. Uh, but thumbs up for you guys because you guys all successfully, uh, you all successfully did that. Uh, last, again, uh, this, this series is going to be recorded and it will be shared on our Colonials YouTube channel. So again, if you miss something today, you can always go back and you can rewatch. Um, or again, if you're unable to attend for whatever reason, you can always go back um, and, and look at the recording. All right, so let's go back to our presentation. So the, the next item we'd like to discuss with you is really around the importance of using um, the Colonial School District's Chromebook. Uh, in Colonial, we're very fortunate that all of our students have a Colonial Chromebook. Uh, the district worked extremely hard in years past to create um, our student device plan. And, and thankfully, this hard work has definitely paid off. Um, and we saw the, 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 the payoff when, when remote learning began in March. Fortunately, Colonial is in a great spot when it comes to devices. We still, uh, unfortunately, other districts in Delaware are still grappling um, with getting devices to every student, every student, but in, like again, but unfortunately in Colonial, uh, we have devices for, for all of our students. So the reason why I'm mentioning this is we really wanna encourage uh, parents and students um, around the need to use our district Chromebooks. So if you don't have a Colonial device, um, and I hope you do, I'm gonna show you in an upcoming slide uh, how you can request a Colonial device. There's a few reasons why we want you to use um, our Colonial devices. Um, really the first thing is we can monitor our devices. So uh, the district is using web filtering, so we are monitoring what students are doing on our devices. Uh, additionally, uh, students are blocked from going to any inappropriate websites. Uh, we definitely still strongly encourage parents to definitely monitor your children, obviously, as they're working on the Chromebooks. Um, but again, we, we've installed some filtering tools. Um, second, uh, we can ensure uh, students have the correct learning extensions installed on their Chromebooks. So if you ever look at your student's Chromebook, what you'll notice, um, let me bring up a little scribbling tool. Uh, what you'll notice, is right here, you kind of have to watch my uh, cursor, but um, what we've done is in the district, we pushed out um, learning extensions like Clever and Cami and Screencastify, uh, Don Johnston, um, Securely Classroom. And the reason why this is important is because we've pushed out these extensions, a lot of the frustration that our learners will have using, let's say, personal devices is because they don't have these extensions installed. So again, we really advocate for using our our district devices, because we've set them up um, so they work correctly um, in this remote in, in environment. Additionally, in our in our upcoming EdTech series, we're going to be we're going to be showing you how to use Cami and how to use Screencastify and all the different tools that we have in the district. So definitely more to come on that. 
Uh, another reason we strongly encourage you to use our colonial devices is that we can easily troubleshoot um, issues that parents or students might have. Um, and our IT is able to troubleshoot these issues. Um, so it's, it's, it's a real benefit to families. The, the issue that we have with families using their own personal devices is that unfortunately um, our IT staff is unable to support them. Um, so we, we, again, we strongly recommend using the Colonial devices. Uh, another reason we, we strongly recommend using our Colonial devices is I'll, I'll actually bring up my student's Chromebook. And let me bring it over onto this screen. Um, and hopefully everyone on this call um, has realized now when students are signed to our when students are signed into our Chromebooks, what you'll notice is on the left side of all of our Chromebooks, we have a folder that's called uh, Colonial Students, and our students aren't able to delete anything that's in this folder. Um, and what we've done is we've created really a, a list of the top websites that our students need um, for, for for remote learning. Um, I'm sure, as most of you have probably seen most of what your students are accessing during remote learning is via this clever portal. And again, the nice thing about this integration is that literally students can click clever. That will sign them in automatically. So really the nice thing about clever is we've really eliminated in the past. We used to have students with different usernames and different passwords, and they had different places to go for different websites. And really the nice thing about Clever is it creates a single sign on uh, kind of a one stop shop where your students can access all of the educational technology programs that they, that, that they need to access. So it really creates a, a, a seamless user experience. And I, I always say we want to frustrate our students on learning. We don't want to frustrate our students on accessing all of these different tech applications. And um, last, really, the I'll go back to our slideshow. Uh, and really, the, the last part of really the why around our devices is um, it really creates equity for all of our learners, which I think is extremely important. Um, so when we think about uh, in the past, um, barriers, student barriers were really centered around students not having a device. Um, and while we haven't solved every barrier to access, um, that students do face um, with our district having Chromebooks and, and, um, and providing those Chromebooks to our students, we're, we're definitely able to help um, achieve or eliminate some of those barriers. So again, definitely want to restate um, home devices are, can be extremely problematic for student learning and um, we, we don't recommend. Okay, all right, so the, the next thing or the next item we, we want to share with you, and I think it's really the gist of today's call, um, and that's really around Colonial's EdTech support for families. So what we've done is we've created a family EdTech plan, which includes multiple op options of support for families um, during both remote learning and as students begin to come back face to face in our buildings. Um, you'll also be able to take advantage of um, all of these options uh, of support that we have for families. Definitely in our district, supporting our families is a priority. Um, so first, we want to show you uh, where you can locate our Colonial Family EdTech support options. So again, if you, so I'm going to go to my students' Chromebook. So this is exactly what your student will see when they go to their Chromebook. If you collect, not collect. If you click um, at the very bottom, you're going to notice there's a there's a link to a website that says Family Ed Tech Support Options. So anytime that you're having issues, what we're going to ask that you do is we're going to ask that you pull this document up, and we're going to ask that you review all of the different options that we've created again to help support you both during remote learning and also face to face. So I'm going to scroll down and what you're going to notice there's actually five, you can include the sixth one if you include teachers, but what we've done is we've created five methods of support that were we've created to help you. 
Um, and we'll go through each of these real, real quickly. So the, the first one um, is around IT support. So what we're gonna ask is um, if you have an IT request. So for example, um, if your device gets broken, if a student's Chromebook camera isn't working, maybe if there's issues with uh, the keyboard, um, you're having connectivity issues, um, student is locked out of an account. What we're gonna ask that you do is um, submit a uh, EdTech ticket. And simply all you're going to do is you're going to come to this document and you're going to select this link here. I'll kind of show you an example. This is gonna bring you to the student tech help desk. And what we're gonna ask that you do is you can do one of two options. You can sign in, and let me zoom in. I know that's kind of hard on your eyes. Um, but we're gonna ask you can either sign in with your students' Google information or, or you can submit a, a ticket this way. So I'm just gonna click this option. And we're just gonna ask for a couple of different items. So the first thing we're gonna ask we, we would like you to submit an email so our, uh, our uh, IT department knows who to contact. Um, you can put a subject in. So for example, if it's a, a Chromebook issue, you could put Chromebook. And then we're gonna ask that you um, give as much details around the issue that you're having uh, in this field. Um, and then we're gonna ask you know, that you fill out the other items that you see listed here, um, including a callback number as well. Um, and our IT department's done a great job in responding to these tech tickets. They're really clearing them out within 24 hours. So uh, definitely uh, kudos to, to, to that team and the work that they're doing. All right. So the second method of support that we want to make uh, families aware of is, okay, so what if, what if your tech's completely broken? What do you do then, right? Um, so what we've done is we've created a, a phone number that you can call. Uh, and that number is 302-561-9195. Um, you, won't, you won't have a live person on the call, but what we're gonna ask that you do is leave a message um, and a member, again, a member of our Colonial IT staff will reach out um, and help solve any of the issues that you might be having with regard to devices or accounts being locked out. So definitely take advantage of that. The uh, third level of support that we're offering um, families is um, we've created a family ed tech support form. So when you have support questions around district ed tech applications, so maybe you have a question around how do I use Schoology or how do I use Cameo? I'm having a, an issue with maybe using a, a specific part of, the, of one of these tools. What we're gonna ask that you do is uh, you can submit an EdTech support form and I'll kind of show you what that looks like. Um, literally, I can open up this Google form um, and we're gonna ask for your email address, your parent first name and last name, your student's first and last name, uh, what building your student's in, an email address so we can contact you, a callback number, and then really whatever your question is. And then again, within 24 to 48 hours, we'll reach back out um, and answer the question that you have. All right. The uh, fourth option, uh, which is, I think this is a new option, which is pretty exciting, is one of the things that we find is sometimes you just need somebody live, right, in a Zoom call. You either want to be able to share what you're seeing, maybe on your student screen, or you just really want to talk to someone face to face um, to help um, to help with any issue that you might be having. So what we've created is um, every Monday and every Friday um, from eight in the morning to eleven in the morning, you can schedule um, you can schedule an appointment with a member of our ed tech team. And simply all you're going to do is you're going to come to this same document. And you're going to notice there's a link that says you can book me. You're going to click that link. It's going to open up this page and it's going to show you a calendar. And all you're going to do is you're going to select a time that is convenient for you. Um, so we have some options uh, on the second and some options on the fifth. Let's say, for example, you wanted to schedule something out maybe a couple weeks. Um, maybe you're not available until October 19th. 
So what you can do is you can come to this site, just click the link here. And then what we're gonna ask is your first name, your last name, and then an email. And then what will happen um, roughly within 24 hours, you're going to get an email back and it's going to give you an, an, a Zoom invite um, for our Zoom virtual office hours. So we're definitely uh, looking forward to providing this level of support. And we're really trying to figure out what are the challenges that families are having. And what we want to do based on that is that will kind of help us or inform us to, to create support documents and any type of video or anything else that's needed to, needed to help our families. All right. <clears throat> the last item that we have on this document, sorry, the fifth item for support that we have in Colonial is really um, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be developing resources, uh, this training that you're watching now, um, as well as some information. And what we're going to do is as the year progresses, we're going to be putting in in this document, you can see we'll include today's presentation link if you wanna go back and look at this. We'll include the YouTube video and we'll do that each week. Um, and then what else uh, we're going to be doing is as we develop, again, we're gonna, we're gonna flush this, this out together. Um, so as we see the, the types of things that um, our family need, we're going to be creating support documents and then including those documents um, at the bottom of, of this item. So again, if you have any questions around, I need some sort of ed tech help, where do I go? Go to your student's Chromebook, click on that Colonial Student folder, come down to that family ed tech support options, and then select one of the options that you have. We definitely are looking forward to this and we hope you find it helpful as well. All right. All right, so before we wrap up and we do just a, a quick Q&A, what we wanna do is we wanna invite you to join us uh, for our next week's training. So today we really wanted to focus on the levels of support that we're offering families, again, both during remote learning and also face-to-face. -face. Um, but next week on October 7th at 4.30, uh, again, we're going to be continuing our EdTech series and uh, next week's training is going to be on using Schoology for families. So we're definitely hoping that you can join us for that call. Um, and then again, in the coming weeks, we'll be doing other EdTech series on using tools like Google Drive, Cami, Screencastify, Don Johnston. And again, if you have any ideas, put them in that EdTech support form and we'll look at that and we can definitely tailor some PDs uh, around your needs as well. All right. All right. So what we want to do last is we want to open the floor up to any questions you might have, and I'll try my best to answer them if I can. If I can, I'll definitely research and get back to you. Again, we're, we're definitely learning together on this. What I'm going to ask, um, what I'm going to ask is I'm going to paste this. And if you go to this website, so it's bit.ly slash colonial parent form. If you have a question you would like answered, you can submit it in the form. And then let me also let me put this. Paste this in. Let's see. I'm going to put it in the chat box. So if you want to submit there. Uh, and I'll give you a, a few minutes and I'll, I'll kind of monitor the, the form. Um, but just some things, you know, what are your thoughts about the five methods of support that we just covered for colonial families. Definitely interested to hear your thoughts. Um, what are any of the thoughts on the possible training needs that you would like to see us doing in these future ed tech series? So if you have an, an idea or a need, uh, definitely put that in. Um, also, we'd be interested to hear what's been your experience using our Chromebooks. So logging in and accessing our programs. 
Um, what's been your experience in using that colonial student folder that we just went over tonight? Um, and, and any other challenges that you might be facing? Um, and I'll definitely keep my eye open on, on the form. Um, and I'll give you a minute to see if anyone wants to submit anything. And if you, if you can't think of anything right now, um, definitely come back to this form. We'll be monitoring it and we'll definitely respond and answer any of the questions that you might have. All right. I haven't, I haven't seen anything come in, but if you do have a question, put that in. I'll, I'll keep an eye open. Um, but uh, I definitely want to thank everyone for joining us today um, for our first ever Colonial Parent University EdTech series. Uh, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing you again next week uh, for our parent training on using Schoology. Um, and it, again, if some of you have questions, definitely sign up for that family virtual Zoom office. I would definitely like to, to work with you um, through any challenges that you might have and support you. Um, otherwise, um, I'm gonna hang out. I'll open up the microphone. Otherwise, take care everyone and have a great night. And, and thanks again for, for coming out and joining us for our first uh, Parent Head Tech series. Take care. And I've unmuted you if anyone wants to hang out and ask a question, I'm gonna stop recording now. Hi.